Tourists visiting to view the Uganda's mountain gorillas have increased and permits have become hard to come by. To trek mountain gorillas in Uganda, tourists purchase permits from the Uganda Tourism Board at $600 per person. Only 13 groups of gorillas are tempted for viewing and about eight people are allowed to see a group of gorillas a day. Tour operators say bookings have been made up to 2020. Uganda is experiencing a very good uh, season um, because the demand for the gorillas and the chimpanzee trekking in Queen Elizabeth National Park has skyrocketed. The amount of uh, tourists turning up in big numbers is shocking. Uganda is the single destination with the highest number of gorillas. Out of the over 800 mountain gorillas that are known to exist in the Virunga landscape that spans Rwanda, DRC and Uganda, Half of these live on the Ugandan side in the Bwindi National Park. And gorilla trekking is a venture that most tourists that come to Uganda love to experience. When you haven't done something, you don't know what to expect. We've seen gorillas in movies and all that. But actually sighting the gorillas, I lost my breath. I became like, you know, a real gasp, like you hear people gasping in, in novels because there was a baby with, playing with its uncle and you know we had seen the pictures of Nshuti and you know the different names and actually seeing them live was epic. Rwanda too boasts of mountain gorillas but permits to trek them are much higher at $1,500. So visitors have opted to come to Uganda because viewing them is less costly. Safari operators are excited about the increasing numbers of visitors and believe Uganda is doing a good job at marketing its image internationally. If you look at the numbers, the growth numbers, all are focused on the countries where we spent one year marketing. And I'm hopefully that in the next two, three, four weeks, we'll be hiring the, rehiring the same firms because they've done a fantastic job. Um, we shall see. Uh, a spiral, but I, I'm just also hoping that the government of Uganda realizes that we do not continue marketing what's already very busy. Let's market what isn't busy for Ugandans to get more opportunities. Tourism is Uganda's top revenue and are bringing in about $1.4 billion annually, and most of this money comes from gorilla viewing. But tour operators want more attractions marketed so that visitors have a wider package to choose from. Uganda's Tourism Board says they are now working out other marketing strategies to have the country benefit from the sector. And while gorillas remain a big tourist attraction in Uganda, conservationists are hoping all visitors that come to Uganda do not go without having a gorilla trek. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.